All right, y'all, before it gets too dark out here, I'm gonna do a quick video or try to make it quick. Um, pessimism and optimism is this basically one and of the same. And I wanna explain this to people and what I mean by this. People that are pessimistic, the reason that they're being pessimistic is because that's the way that they become optimistic for themselves. And then people that are optimistic, they don't like pessimism. You know, it's it all comes down to a label. This is why I keep telling y'all about this label stuff. Whatever one you are, I don't care which one you are. I'm just speaking... This is how I always speak on the topics I speak about. It's always somebody but nobody, left, right, up, down, hot, cold, you know, the grass, the sky, everything in between. And I see pessimism and optimisticism, it's hard to say these words, I see them as one and the same. It's only a label that we put to it. It's only, you know, a pessimist will label themselves as a pessimist and they'll say, oh, I don't like the optimist because they're too optimistic for me. And then the optimist says, I don't like the pessimists. They're too pessimistic. You see how it's all like a level thing? There's levels to this and we can't judge any one of them, really. You know, you can't really call someone a pessimist or an optimistic. It, you can't really do it because what are the levels to it? You see what I mean? And when I do these videos, all that I'm trying to do is to get people to think logically and to think for yourself. That's all I'm trying to do, you know? And uh, if a crazy Russian, 86 is watching this you can criticize my videos anytime you want to you can say anything you want I don't care. I don't have nothing against you brother. You're a man. You have your own opinions your own views You have your own channel. You could say whatever you want, you know um, I like when people do that. I Like when people review my video and say something that they themselves didn't like or liked or seen as this way or that way, you know, that's cool. I don't have no problem with that, but I'm going to say what I need to say for me. You understand? All I'm doing is reflecting on myself in these videos. You know, I'm not really, um, I'm not telling any of you what you need to do, but I know for me, I am a pessimist and I am an op to mysticist, if that's how you say it. I'm both. I go from down here, the most pessimist of pessimists, to up here, the most optimists, optimistic, to the most optim optimistics. It's really hard to say that word. But yeah, it, once you can see that these are one and of the same and this whole labeling and judging thing is what gets us in trouble it, It's what gets me in trouble as a human being I was just over here doing clips for I'm about to do a music video and I'm over here doing clips It's about to be dark though. So I might have to film again tomorrow But there was uh, two or three people that walked by here two or three groups of people. There was two guys someone else and someone else over there. And I was out here doing my video, you know, getting into it and doing the choreography for it and stuff. It's like, once you come to terms, for me, once I came to terms that I said, I am both of everything. I am somebody, but I'm nobody. I'm the left, I'm the right, I'm the up, I'm the down. I'm the pessimist, I'm the optimistic guy you see and when i started doing that everything changed my whole outlook on life changed because don't get me wrong i still do it i still judge people i still point the finger and say you know uh i catch myself doing it though see it, it's a thing where it's like practice i catch myself doing this to people and i don't want to do that to anybody 
I don't want to point the finger and say, look at this guy, look at this lady, you know, oh, well, you know, they're doing something I don't like, and these people are doing something that I like, so I'm going to label them as the optimistics, and these as the pessimistics, you know, like, it's all, it always comes down to a labeling thing, all the time, with me, it always comes down to a labeling thing. And that's where the fear and all that comes from. So this is stemming from the video from yesterday. I'm practicing on seeing myself how I really want me to be. And I'm giving that to you freely and openly. I don't have to do this, you know. I don't have to do these videos at all. I could keep this to myself. And I would be glad if I kept it to myself as well as giving it to you on a video, but I don't want to keep it to myself. You know what I mean? So, I know that I said this probably hundreds of times. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do at all. You don't have to do nothing but the only thing that I can say, the thing that is saving my life is having a hobby and making myself do things that I really don't necessarily want to do for my health. You don't think I want to eat steaks and pota mashed potatoes and, and you know, uh, sugary snacks and all that stuff. You don't think that I want to eat? You don't think that I want to sit on my ass all day like a lazy shit? I, but I can't do it. It all comes down to me not wanting to be like that for my health, you know? So, it, it's like I went through like this four-year stage from four years ago till now. And the more that I look into myself and the more that I look into these labels like pessimist, optimisticist, nihilist, uh, hedonist, antinatalist, it really all comes down to a preference. You know, and then when one of us goes, oh, I don't like you because you're doing that or you're not doing something that I like or I want you to do. That's your own problem when you do stuff like that. That has nothing to do with the person that you're pointing the finger at or saying something about. You don't need to worry about them. Don't worry about them people. And I understand, listen, I keep telling you, we have been conditioned since we came out of our mother's womb to, we've been brainwashed. You have been brainwashed. You have been indoctrinated. Now, when I say that, I'm not trying to offend you. I'm not trying to come at your neck and make you mad and angry. That's not the reason I say that. I'm, when I say you, I'm reflecting on myself when I say you. You know, I don't know how many of you watched my older videos, but a lot of my older videos people are going to get very offended and very angry because I am just saying what I need and want to say for myself. You know, whether how people judge it, that's up to you how you judge the situation. If you want to call me a pessimist, if you want to call me an optimistic guy, if you want to call me a bum, if you want to call me a cool guy, if you want to label me whatever you want to, that's cool. I don't, I don't care. It doesn't matter. The labels don't mean anything to me. It doesn't mean nothing at all to me. Now, if someone comes at me physically wise, then I have to defend myself if something like that were to happen. But it doesn't need to go there with anything. There's no need to get like that. We can speak logically. We can speak to each other like human beings. It, you know, we don't need to fall for the bullshit. Don't fall for the bullshit that you have been being fed your whole life. Don't fall for it. It's a lie. I'm telling you, there's so many lies out here. There's so many people speaking shit off of their tongue 
that is poisonous and what their expectations are of you, if you go past that and beyond that expectation, then they get upset and they get angry and that's the things that happens, but it's cool, it's human nature. I'm not mad at nobody. You know, really, I can actually say this. I love every single person in the world. I might not like you, but I love and I, I do actually care for you as a human. But I'm not going to get involved with your judgments and your shit and your pointing the finger and you calling people whatever you call them. That has nothing to do with my space, this space right here. You have your space, you have your body, I got my body and my space. And it's like, you know, when I say this, I'm not telling y'all to do it, but it's like, go outside and look up at the sky. You know, look at this. Look at this for a second. Look at that. Just go outside, <coughs> excuse me, and just look up at the sky and just meditate. You know, you got to start somewhere. I understand we're all going to go one day, y'all. I understand that life sucks a lot of the times. I know more than anyone because I was there. I already said this before. I was in the pit of despair. When I do these videos, this ain't on no like, uh, oh, uh, a girl broke up with me or I ate some candy and my stomach got sick. No, I'm talking about years and years of hell and torment and pain and agony that I went through. And the reason I do this is because I don't want someone else to fall in that. Now, whatever you do is what you do. It doesn't have anything to do with me. My words are really as good for nothing, really. If we're really being honest here, my words don't really count for anything because you can't let words hurt you. You can't let words discourage you in what people say. Now, words can actually help somebody. Words can get somebody out of their shit. Words can wake somebody up in the morning. Words can put people down. Words can poison. Words can put people in a dilemma. Words can upset people. Words can do so many things. You know, sticks and stones may break my bones, but why am I letting words hurt me? See, this, this is what I have to keep telling myself every single day. I have to remind myself of myself, what myself is thinking. And this is what a lot of people can't do. This is what a lot of people won't do. They, they don't want to admit when they're having some kind of problem back onto their selves. You see, they want to start going and blaming everyone and blaming the world and saying, oh, the world is the problem. Yes, the world is part of the problem, but it's not your problem until it comes right to you with a fist or a weapon or right in your face, then you might have to deal with it. Besides that, don't worry about it. And I'm not even talking, I'm not even really talking to you. I'm talking to myself out here. I'm talking to me so I don't do some dumb shit. So I remind myself of what I shouldn't do. Or, or I know where I came from, so why am I going to put myself in that situation again? You know, it's, as, it's really as simple as that. And like I said before too, a lack of knowledge is what destroys the people. That's absolutely true. A lack of knowledge is what is destroying people out here. It's simply a lack of knowledge. That's all it comes down to, a lack of knowledge. <laughs> and if you don't think that that is the truth, then that's cool. You don't have to think that that's the truth. That's my truth. 
And you know, I do. I want the best for every one of you. But I know there's some people that are going to, you know, die of an OD. I know there's some people that are going to, you know, do some dumb things. I know there's people that might do things to help people. There's people that are going to do all types of different shit. I can't stop anybody from doing nothing. You know, it's it's like I feel hypocritical when I say these things. But the reason that I say them is because I'm living by it. If I wasn't living by it, it wouldn't come out of my mouth. It just wouldn't. I couldn't allow it to. Because I see myself every day for what I'm doing. And I know a lot of people, you don't want to hear that. Because you might not be able to get out of what you're doing to yourself. And, and it's like, it's just a video. You know what I mean? It's just a video of me talking, of me expressing myself, and me saying what I need to say. That's all it is. It ain't nothing special. It ain't nothing new. There's millions of people that have done this before me. It's just the process of life that you go through. You live and you learn. You fall and scrape your knees, you get up and the, it heals, you fall again, you do the same process, but what I'm doing is I am doing something to break up the monotony of life, you see? This monotony is what drives me crazy, is doing the same things over and over, and that's why I tell y'all the arts all the seven arts is a really beautiful and amazing thing if you get into it because there's so much stuff you can do to stay busy. And once again, if you, if you don't feel right, I don't care what anyone says. Listen, there are some people that need to be on medication. Some people need to be on meds. I understand that there will be a withdrawal and it might do something to your physical health a little bit, but what is more important? Is it more important to feel shitty and down and out and hate your life or is it more important to actually do something that helps right now, in the now? You know, everybody's so worried about years and years and years from now. Who cares about that? One day we're going to go anyway. So why why not enjoy your life? You know, if I can get if I get 5 less years of my life because of the medication I take, then oh well. It's a little shorter bit of time. You know, it's like stuff like that I don't worry about no more. I don't let it go in my head anymore. You know, if I die 5 years before my time, then I die five years before my time. Who cares? No one's going to remember. No one's going to know anything. No one's going to judge me for it. You know what I mean? So why are you torturing yourself? Why are you putting yourself through this crazy shit? And yet again, I'm not telling you that you got to get out of your shit. I'm not telling you you have to do anything for yourself at all. Not at all. You know, if you want to get up and walk away, you get up and walk away. If you want to, you know, you're somewhere and you want to leave because you're not comfortable, then you leave. If you're walking and you want to walk a certain direction, then walk that direction. It, it's so simple and so easy, but we're making it hard still, a lot of us. There's still some things I'm making it hard for myself. It's so easy to just move. But this, this thing right here tells you not to. It convinces you of shit that you know you don't or you do want to do, but it still convinces you not to do it because there's shit going on in here that doesn't have anything to do with your personality or who you really are. There's shit that the mind does that we can't explain. You know, there's thoughts and shit that comes to my head. It's like, why in the world am I thinking about this shit? Why am I relishing on this? Why am I doing anything to even try to do anything about it when I know it's going to be there anyway? 
And then for the people, this is what I'm ending it with. The people that keep trying. What I mean is if you say to somebody, I will try to make it tomorrow, then that means you might or you might not. But don't say try if you're not going to, if you're really going to do something, then do it. Don't try. You can't try to do something. If you try, then you're not going to do it because you're trying. You're not just doing it naturally. You see, it's, it's either natural or it's not natural. You're either coming or you're going. One of the two. And if I say that I'm going, I'm going. If I say that I'm not smoking and drinking, I'm not smoking and drinking. If I say that I am changing something in my life, I changed that thing. I'm not going to say I'm going to try to change. I'm going to try to be myself today. I'm going to try to get something done. I'm going to try to eat a banana and an orange, but I only eat a banana I mean, really, it, it's a lot of this is common sense, and I know a lot of you, you have common sense. I'm not saying it to offend you. You know what is going on. I don't have to really tell you these things. It's just a reminder for myself. It's a reminder for me. So, SBN, resonate. Let it resonate in you. If you got to come back to it, come back to it. Do it however many times you have to do it to get you right. You know, you don't have to go by some schedule. If you have to go by a schedule, then you got to go by a schedule. But if you don't have to go by any schedule, don't. When you're hungry, eat. When you're thirsty, drink. If, you, if your balls stink, get a shower. If your pooter stinks, get a shower. It's, it's simple. It, it's like I said, we have been conditioned. We've been conditioned, we've been indoctrinated, and we've been brainwashed. Now, whether you want to say that to yourself, that's up to you. But I know that I was, and I know a lot of people were, and some people still ain't out of it and don't see it for what it is. And I can't, I can't make anybody see it for what it is, you know? I can only make myself see it. So, all the night to you. Logic, only human, neither either, SBN resonate, SBN lifestyle, later on y'all.